Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many Spring Boot developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a challenge with their Spring Boot web application not working with Oracle Wallet. They've successfully connected to the database using a command line runner, but when it comes to the web application, the same configuration fails to create a data source beam. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with your Spring Boot application and Oracle Wallet. You mentioned that your command line runner connects successfully, but the web application does not. This often indicates a configuration issue. First, ensure that your application properties are correctly set up for the Oracle Wallet. You need to specify the wallet location and the TNS admin directory. Here's an example of how to set these properties in your application.properties file. Next, let's look at the code snippet you provided. Make sure that the Oracle data source is being created correctly. The properties for the wallet location should be set before you create the data source object. Here's a refined version of your code. If you're still encountering a null pointer exception, double check that the wallet files are accessible and that the paths are correct. Also, ensure that the DB alias matches the entry in your tnsnames.ora file. Finally, if the issue persists, consider enabling detailed logging for your Spring Boot application. This can provide more insights into what might be going wrong during the data source creation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix your Spring Boot web application with Oracle Wallet, add specific properties to your application configuration. Also, ensure you include the correct dependency in your POM XML file for the Oracle JDBC driver. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve issues with your Spring Boot web application and Oracle Wallet, ensure you include the correct dependencies in your project. Make sure to add these dependencies at the correct version level to ensure compatibility. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve issues with a Spring Boot web application and Oracle Wallet, start by adding specific dependencies in your build.gradle file. Next, define your data source in the application.properties file. Make sure to include the correct URL, username, and password. In 
ensure the path to the Oracle wallet points to a directory containing necessary files like tnsnames.ora. Extract these files from the zip archive if needed. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.